I don't think, I mean, I don't know everybody's financial situation, but the way we broke and the way that I've seen other people broke ain't broke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about because I used to work at, um, I used to volunteer at a nonprofit organization, the Prisoners Aid Association. Broke is not that I can't get the groceries that I want, but I don't have any money to get groceries at all. And because and there's nothing in my cabinet. Not just stuff I don't want to eat. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My mother always got some beans or something in there. I might I ain't eating that, but it's there. <laughs> ain't nobody hungry. You know what I'm saying? That that's broke. Broke is hungry. Broke is me scraping up quarters to, to get, get a loaf of bread. You can't afford to, to get a cup of rum in that Right, place. to right. stretch for the week. It's not because I can't go to Cheesecake Factory. That's not broke. Broke is actually going out and asking people for money and actually needing it. Needing it. <laughs> actually. You know what I'm saying? Not, because, not to support your addiction mm -hmm. or not so you don't have to go get a job, but the fact that if you don't get any money today, you're not going to eat. That's broke. Mm -hmm. I broke not being able to go wherever. Yeah, mm -hmm. That ain't really broke. <laughs> Having to send your kids off to somewhere. Or having your you kids can't. eat and you can't eat. Mm -hmm. That's broke. That's broke. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I think that's, that's we have a, a, a different concept of what financial security is. And financial security means that you are just taken yeah. care of. You know, I believe that if you. Yeah. If you, you don't have any worries. Right. About. So what's the other rewards? What's the rewards of submitting value? Y'all don't know. Can you, um, if you don't mind, move what you have over there underneath rewards? What? Oh, eternal uh, life. And I, I, I already did that on notes here. So, if we, if we so know, what we'll was this first? Let's start over. So, because we all want to make it to the kingdom. Hallelujah. <laughs> no, Lord, I'm not talking about these things because I need to make it. Yeah. So, I'm not going to make it. What else? Better relationships? Security. Okay, how, better relationships? How? Hmm? I would say because, like, if you're, if you're, you know, if you have a strong relationship with God, and, like, you're actually, you know, if you're praying to Him for just better relationships, and not just with, you know, boyfriends or girlfriends or whatever, but just with friends people. in general, mm -hmm. He will bring that to you, and people who are actually there to help you grow as, and you're there to help them grow and you know beneficial yeah relationship have you ever heard of this that if your vertical relationship is together your horizontal relationships will be together have you ever heard that before no basically if my this is you i've heard you say that before you heard me say that before this is god, god. If my communication and my relationship with god is together this is the vertical Y'all remember that from geometry, right? Yeah. Vertical, then my horizontal here will be together. Mm. That's one of my models. Do you believe that? Do you think that's true? Halfway. Halfway? Tell me what you think. You I'm not saying it's Bible, so. You can still um, have a relationship with God, but still surround yourself with bad people. So is your relationship with God um, good then? The Bible says, how can two walk together unless they agree? And if you got, and I, I'll say this, if you've gotten to a place where you have totally submitted to God and said, Lord, let your will be my will and my will be your will. And I don't want to do anything outside of that. Once you've totally submitted, once you've totally given in, and once you've totally given all of yourself or oneself to God, he's going to, he will um reveal those things to you that need to that need to come up the, that some things that you might need to back away from he might even remove some people out of your life um but once your once your communication with him you won't even you won't want it mm -hmm. because it's not if, you, if you're surrounded by bad by quote unquote bad people uh people that are clearly not edifying or helping you to reach to, to that place that god wants you to be you yourself wouldn't even want that. So it's, I don't think that's a matter of, um, I don't think that's a matter of, uh, I don't know the word for it, but um, I, I don't think that that will actually take place. Either, you know, either your desire to please your flesh is going to be greater than your desire to please God or your desire to please God is going to become greater than the, the one to please your flesh. And once you've made that decision, and once you've totally submitted, then everything else will fall in line. Anybody else? 
So I'm only valid my little she I'm validated my little thing. And one thing, another um theme that I have for my life is that people are either they either wanna push you to your promise or they're poisonous to your destiny. Wait, I ain't spending it. Um, this is a good stuff. It happens. Don't judge me. Do you believe it? Mm -hmm. It's not Bible, so you can you can uh, you can accept it or yeah, refute it. Would you oh, I say that one more time, please? I, I said people are either they're either going to push you to your promise or they're poisonous to your destiny. What do you say? They're either point, point, pushing you to the promise, to that thing that God has promised that you're going to be to your destiny, your expected end, your future, or well, they're poisonous. I was telling one of my friends yesterday um, that at the end of the day, there has to be a clear line between us and them. What do I mean by us and them? Save and unsaved? Save and unsaved. It has to be. Some there is no gray. The difference. There is no gray area. You either with me or you against me. The in between stuff is complicated. Oh, yes, I'm trying to figure that out. What are some of the other rewards? Uh, submitting to God. Answer prayer. Answer prayer, that's a good one. <laughs> Who got scripture for that? Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to be all extra churchy, but for me, mm -hmm. it's when I incorporate, because I think it's so easy to say we come to church because we want to live right, we come to church because we say, but I think that if we really don't understand the benefits, that there are real benefits and that there are real consequences to this whole lifestyle, then we really don't, we haven't thought it through. You get what I'm saying? Like, if you really don't think that you are going to benefit or that God has great plans for you or that you can really, you know, live good, then what are you coming here for? If you can't relate it to, you know, what's, what's the use of coming on Sunday if you can't relate it to Monday through Friday? If you can't remember no scripture to get you through the week, why, why are you here? Hello? Is that true? Very. I mean, Sister Keisha, Mother Russell can't go home with you. So if you don't grasp it for yourself, if you can't, I believe in action items. Things that I could have action with and things that I could I could relate that can help me get through. Because if I don't, then I told, I'm not that smart, so I'll totally miss the point. Just be honest. I miss it. So answer prayer. Who got scripture? It's Bible study. What about the prayers of the righteous avail of much? That's one. That's off the top of your head. Hmm? I know in Mark, I don't know the scripture, but I know he says to his 12 disciples that, um... Find it. How am I supposed to find it? Oh, oh, oh yeah, we got the Bible. This is Bible stuff. Mm -hmm. He says something about, um, his 12 disciples were arguing or something about who was first. And he was like, um, whoever is last of all will be first. Sometimes. The first or we last and the last will be first. first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So that goes along with submitting. Mm -hmm. also. No more scriptures? No more. Did we say the first of the practice available? Yes, yeah, so I said that first. Okay. I mean, the whole book, the whole Bible. The okay, Lord gives you access. Is. You have access. I cried and the Lord heard me and yes. delivered me. This poor man cried. And the Lord heard him and delivered him from all his troubles. That's in Psalms. Um, growth. 
I mean, growth is always good, but what do I mean? Oh, you want me to respond to that? Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> growth, growth, growth. Growth for the betterment of the kingdom. Um, you should want to be able to grow spiritually, um, one, so that you can be able to help somebody else. Um, grow so that you don't find yourself in the same state over and over again. I mean, just on a simple note, you get tired of being in the same spot. You should, you should definitely, just like we, just like you want more for yourself on the natural side, you know, you can get to kindergarten and say, I think I'm going to just stay here and learn my ABCs for the rest of my life, you know. Um, and just like life um, in, the, in the natural world requires growth, um, so, so be it in, in your spiritual sense, um, the areas that, that God would have you to go will require growth. I have another one. Huh? Oh, okay. I, have, I, have, um, um, I thought we were still in the road. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, okay. I was going to say peace of mind. Yes. And that you came by. Ooh. And that's, and I was thinking about what you said about like that whole gray area because trying to be on both sides, it just gets really complicated and it just, it wears on you. And it's just like, it's, it just gets too much. <laughs> it's too much. The more I grow, the more I realize that when you choose to be on God's side, not even trying to sound like extra church and stuff, life is just easier. It's very, it's much easier. Like seriously, like certain okay. things, mm -hmm. I don't have to worry about like some of my bulls because they hate on me real bad. Because I got the, the, the best salesman, I'm already at like almost 100,000. Oh, wow. And we still got two months left, so they be hating. And she's like, well, I just, I'm just, I'm just so tired of them hating on you. And I said, ma'am, Everything that I preach to y'all about, I actually believe that stuff. So, therefore, I'm covered. It's the favor, you always gonna be mad. It's the favor of God. So whether you try to, you out to get me, I don't have to lose no sleep over that. I serve, the God I serve is more powerful than anything that you can ever try to bring against me. Period. Just literally, I mean, you know that you're doing what you're supposed to do. You, in the spiritual and the natural, you don't have to worry about losing your job if you know. I'm not saying you be late every day, right? <laughs> because the reality is that I mean I think we all we always use the concept of sowing and reaping to bad things in the spirit, but that's in the natural too. If you late every day, like me, you don't know, get that. I'm gonna get back when I'm here. Because the reality is, I was late every day, right? Oh, right up. So, you, you know what I'm saying? You have to, whatever you put out is what you want to get. So, if you know that you're doing what you're supposed to do, you know that you have submitted to God, you submitted to your will, you have a great relationship. Not, I mean, we're always improving on our relationship with God. You have a you know, relationship with God. You have a communication with God. Certain things you don't have to worry about. Lord, it's the money I have. Boom. I gave this to you. This <laughs> bills will get paid. If I don't pay, then come get my car. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. But certain things, even though, you know, it's humanly so worry, but the reality is that God's going to take care of us. Mm -hmm. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, mm -hmm. nor his seed begging bread. But he's, like, he's really our father, and fathers pride themselves in taking care of their children. Mm -hmm. They do. They'll make sure you have when they when you don't have. Good ones. <laughs> yeah, we ain't talking about the broke down big daddies on board. Right. <laughs> good father. Good father. <laughs> you are God. <laughs> so, okay, that's it. Any more rules? Go ahead. No. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. I found the scripture. It's nine, the mark nine thirty five, and he sat down and called the twelve and said unto them, If any man desire to be first, the same shall be last of all and servant of all. Okay. Okay. What do you sell? You say you sell. Well, we um. It's so firm and and I hope no, not. I don't see it. We definitely. Um, we have sales. Like people come in, they come in the bank to get 
certain things, you know, checking accounts, credit cards, and everything like that. My job is to not only give you what you want, but Upsell. because we're in a competitive market to upsell. Yeah, so yeah, you may I'm have some. That. Yeah, she worked at the front end. They, they're I'm not. They're not the same as other financial institutions because they are um, pretty much self-standing. We rely on. Our, if we don't handle customers, we don't handle jobs. They're for profit. When, when they're, they're not. They don't have a profit. profit. So. Um, they, they're pretty much there to help <coughs> members according to their organization um, get better rates and other things like that. Like the teachers have a credit union, the post office, because they basically serve their kind, in a sense. With us, however, <laughs> we serve the public, and we we don't get your money, we don't have no job. We love a So, <laughs> that's how it is. So, I, my responsibility is to not just give you what you need. It's, every product has points to it. So not just to give you the checking account that you came in for, but to also, with my charm, to give you a savings account and a credit card before you leave. Ain't nobody ever been that charm. Yeah. Oh honey, I got charm, because I'm number one. Okay. Ain't nobody been that charm with me. What you say? Say nobody been that charming with me. I keep my checking and my savings separate. Say I got my checking and my savings, I got the checking. Well, and also loans too. Your loans were really, um, money out. Oh, okay, I'm not why, why, why would you think I turn it off? The, the, the last time. Okay. Class ain't over yet? So Is class over? Um, just about you. Yeah, I get ready for upstairs. It's, oh, yeah. it's, um, it's 9.50, it's 8.52 rather. We just, about on, we just about on schedule. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're doing good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I um, posted a message on the video. Did you see it? I haven't. About you it. playing music after the video. Yeah. You had some Whitney song or something. Oh, that was you? Yeah. No, oh, yeah, yeah. We need to do better. Whitney. Yeah. You still have yes. no, I got. I had nothing I got, to do with the class. I mean, uh, it always has something to do with the class, but it, it's, never <laughs> something something it's never gospel. Or whatever. I always have something to do with the class. It's never gospel. It's been, yeah, it's been John Legend. Yeah. It's been Sierra. It's been Chaka Khan. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sierra ain't said that. Promise. So I had to comment about that. So, uh, why is this on the Why? Why? So I go on the Google and I type in what we talked about, and oh. something comes up. I listen to it, I download it, and I put it on. Okay, you have. To but we need to find <laughs> something Christian or somewhat, yeah. That's not because it, but we, I listen, I listen to alternative and rock and, and, and rock music, so it's not what I listen to. That, but that's yeah. that's fine. But some some people that might take it's them not, back and then yeah. they miss the whole. Oh. <laughs> I try it could be a distraction. Yeah. So only because uh, there's so many genres of Christian music. I try to open it up cool. But last time, what did I use for the last one? I don't know. I, and I bought it on, actually bought that song on Amazon. Um, yeah, because I don't bother. Did you find that song that she was talking about two weeks ago? What song? The song she played for us was two weeks ago? Yes, I did. What song? What, what's the name? Is it on the thing? Yeah, it's in there. It's, okay. in, it's in the video. I embedded it in the video. Hey, what's that thing that's just, that uh, video that Sister Keisha showed us? That one. That, I, that I, is the one that tried to offer. When she's showing it to us, I cut that out and I actually uh-huh. ran the video. And then when it stops, I put it back that's in. That's what's up. So I need to click on that. That was uh, November 29th. Uh, okay. Um, originally, um, we had talked about two weeks ago about doing a um, young adult um, Bible, uh, out, Bible study. Um, Outing trip. Um, Should I stop it was suggested that yeah. we go to Chantilly to the 